Hi folks, this is Clint of Bachelor Machine speaking for blog.fonk.com. Um, I just wanted to show you guys how I prepare tracks uh, for including them in my DJ set. Now, the key to making this easy on yourself is to set um, bar one, beat one to be the drop, and then figure out your tempo, and then uh, once that's once you figure, your tempo is figured out, then you want to warp the entire track for, um, at that tempo. And then once you've done that, then work backwards from the drop to establish how uh, the lead-in measures for your track. Okay, so what do I mean by all that? Let's go to the, the track. I'm going to warp this track, which I had previously warped, but I've t removed all warp information from it so that you can see how this works. If you're looking at this track, uh, clearly the actual um, the, the, the drop occurs at around at or around bar 17 so let's zoom in there okay let's listen to this it looks like uh, something's not exactly right so we're gonna uh, so we're gonna listen to this thing I'm gonna turn it on right now okay this this here was the uh, the kick drum of uh, the first beat of the the bar with a drop in it. So I'm going to click right there, and then I'm going to right click on that. And I'm going to set that as 1.1.1. So that means that this this is where the file is going to start when I hit play here. Okay, so that worked like I wanted it to. Now, <clears throat> taking a look at the actual file now. Live has made some guesses about how fast this file should go based on the transients in the file. And those guesses tell Live that, oh well, it looks like we might not be exactly perfect. So let's go to the bar, bar 3 and, well, I think the 127 was probably a really good guess that Live made. So we're, we're gonna undo that. <coughs> And then I'm going to go up to, because looking at uh, beat one of our three was right about perfect. So let's go back up here. Next, uh, for our next thing we're going to do is we're going to change this, the entire session tempo, to equal the clip tempo. And then right click on this and warp, for, warp 127 beats per minute from here. Now, this is only going to work for dance music. It's something with, that's got like a, a metronomic beat. If you're going to be doing something with uh, tracks that have actually got a live drummer, none of this is going to work. That's a different kind of that's a different project. So when I did that, it what it did is it made the entire wave file um, 127 beats per minute. It assumed that the whole thing was right. So the next thing that I do after that is I usually jump up to 97 because that's usually uh, for a long track it's about halfway through or for a shorter track like that most of the way through and we want to make sure that the transient for the kick kick drum of that bar is also um, right there on one and it looks like it was so I think that this track is probably good to go a quick spot check and Looks like this thing ends on uh, the fourth beat of its last measure. Let's listen to that to make sure. I believe that live guessed right when it did that. So um, looks like this ends on the end of the uh, 120th bar. Going back to what we did before. Now, we don't actually want this thing to start when we hit st the start button. We don't actually want it to start here. Now, what we could do is we could go and we could set the, say that the lead-in is here, but what actually works better is to, to say that this is one, the drop is one, and then take this start marker and move it back. And the reason why we do that is that when you drop this thing into the session, so you're, so you're out and you're playing and you, you drop this file in, then you can say, okay, how long is it going to be? You can look at it at a glance and say, how long is it going to be before um, the drop if I press play on this thing? Well, the answer is 16 bars. Um, now, if 
your your previous track is playing out and you only have eight bars left or like say you got 10 bars left or whatever you can grab this marker and go and then when you press play you're going to get eight bars left so having these negative numbers for the lead in and one 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 representing your drop is very very useful um, that's all for this week um, thanks for listening and i hope you find it useful